Hey Fola Foodies, it's Faye from facefood.com and today I'm going to show you how to make some easy sheet tray nachos. Alright, so first we're going to prepare the ground beef topping. So I just have some ground chuck, I placed it in my pan and it's over medium high to high heat. I'm going to begin to break this beef up with my wooden spoon. And essentially that's all we're going to do is just break it up as much as possible and cook it. Pretty simple so far. Alright, so once the beef is pretty much all browned up, you can uh, begin to add your seasonings. I'm going to add a bit of taco seasoning, of course. <laughs> But I also like to add some adobo seasoning. Um, I just like the flavor combination of the two. So I, whenever I make tacos, this is essentially my recipe of when I make ground beef tacos, this is how I do it. So you're kind of getting two recipes in one here. But yeah, whenever I make tacos, I do like to add both taco seasoning and adobo seasoning. So this is kind of a situation, an example of uh, the pan is way too small <laughs> in this uh, for what is needed, but uh, we'll make it work. So once you add your seasoning in, you give it a mix, you combine everything, you continue to cook it for a bit, you can add in a bit of water. The reason why I do that is um, I just like what it does to the beef, to be honest, but also uh, more importantly, it helps to glaze the pan. Kind of forms like a sauce is what I mean when I say I like what it does to the beef. But um, yeah, once you cook that up and you added the water in, you cook that up a little bit, it evaporates a little bit, you see that there's still a bit of juice, a little bit of fat. We don't want that necessarily on our nachos because that's going to just make them soggy instantly. So I like to drain the beef after it's done cooking. And you can do that with a cheesecloth or you can do what I did and use some paper towels. Now I showed you the brand here. I'm just using some four cheese, uh, Mexican cheese because I just find that it's way easier that way. Um, but you can use any cheeses you'd like, uh, but I like the blend. What I would say, and what I'm going to put in the recipe is, I would definitely double the cheese amount that I put. Because, I mean, the more cheese the better, why not? So you can see right now, we just layer down our uh, nachos or tortillas basically or tortilla chips you want to use a good brand first of all second of all you just lay it down on a lightly greased um, baking sheet you want either parchment on there or um, uh, silicone mat something so it doesn't stick and then you just sprinkle the cheese over the top make sure to get in between the crevices as well okay you're gonna bake that at 400 for about five to seven minutes just for the cheese to melt a bit it also kind of helps the uh, chips crisp up even more so now at this point I'm adding in some minced garlic over the top and now I'm going to um, take the beef that we drained and just add it over the top and again just like with the cheese we want to kind of get in between the crevices of the uh, of the chips don't want it in um, one concentrated place kind of spread it all over you might ask how do you serve this thing <laughs> well I think the easiest way is kind of just from the sheet tray sure. <laughs> everyone helps themselves it's for it's kind of a party food um, so as long as no one double dips the chip so to speak <laughs> you'll be fine you can of course scoop it out um, that'll work too probably easier from the uh, tray all right so we added in our beef over the top and now we can add on some more cheese because why not some more cheese on top this, this is definitely a kind of a cheat day meal you're not gonna eat this every day but um every once in a while you wanna you wanna indulge in this kind of thing Alright, so now that we have our cheese on there, I'm going to add on some onions. 
I'm using some red onions and white onions. They both deliver kind of different flavors and obviously there's different colors, so that's why I add both. You can use one or the other, whatever you prefer. All right, so now that we have our onions on there, we can add in our next ingredient. And this is some diced Roma tomatoes. It's basically just one diced Roma tomato. I don't add too much of the toppings. Um, it, you can overwhelm the chips, so moderation is key. I'm adding on now some jalapenos, and you can see I sliced them up in half moons instead of like a slice, round slice. And that's because I had to take the seeds out. I cannot handle spice like that. Um, I'm a sissy when it comes to that, so uh, I took the seeds out. And now just for presentation purposes, um, I'm adding on cilantro, like whole spice sprigs of cilantro obviously if you want it for flavor you you chop it up and uh, and add that on there but yeah this is pretty much it you can garnish it as you please you can add some avocado sour cream um, guacamole whatever you'd like really on top you get creative with it and have fun it's so delicious and it's a great party snack so i hope you guys give this a try um, the full recipe will be on facefood.com like this video comment below if you have any comments or questions and subscribe to this channel for more good videos on the way and until next time have a wonderful day Alicia, quit the game and settle things right here, right now I've been thinking about it I've been thinking about all the things you do I wanna take you from it